Have you ever read a book that made you feel like you were part of the story? A book that left you feeling like you just ran a marathon? Or solved the Rubik's Cube? Or a book that required you to make choices, solve puzzles or interact with the text in some way? Welcome to the mind-bending world of ergodic literature. Dive into ergodic literature with me, Candy, your friendly host. This video unlocks its secrets. What is ergodic literature, why it matters, and how it transforms reading into adventure. From the introduction, what do you think to be ergodic? If you consider it to be actively involving you in the narrative, you're on track. Because ergodic literature is not always read, it is played. You are a co-pilot here, not the passive observer. Imagine cracking open Mark Danielewski's House of Leaves, one of the most famous examples of ergodic literature, where footnotes are longer than the chapters, hidden messages lurk in margins, and the story unfolds like a twisted puzzle box. Why are footnotes longer than the chapters? Why are messages kept inside the margins? Why the plot is presented as a maze? Do they have a purpose? Obviously, they do have a purpose. It is just to interact with you, the reader. Yet, they are completely unconventional. Upside down intro, just for you, it's ergodic. We are exploring the mind-blowing adventures and stories like a House of Leaves, where the book itself takes you on a twisted journey. It demands you to rotate, flip, and puzzle your way through unconventional layouts and hidden clues. Look at the picture. Look at the typography. Is it easy to comprehend? No, not at all. But there lies a hidden purpose and meaning. The readers have to unravel themselves the meaning. Look at the third picture. We find the missing shape in the middle. To unlock the meaning, you have to enter the right key which rightly fits. The reader, you have to find the key by proper examination of the house where the key lurks. Isn't it interesting? I know you got what ergodic literature is. And as you rightly figure it out, these are some of the components of ergodic literature including typography, perspective, layers, layout, format, footnotes, and so on. Let's head to the textbook definition of ergodic literature. The term ergodic literature was coined by Espen J. Arshut in his 1997 book Cybertext Perspectives on Ergodic Literature. The word comes from the Greek words ergon, meaning work, and horos, meaning path. Ergodic literature is nothing but that which requires the reader to work their way through the text following different paths or rules. Arshad defined it as literature in which non-trivial effort is required for the reader to traverse the text. It is very simple, just like that. It requires you to work to find your path inside the text. Ergodic literature challenges you to interpret as an integral part of the story. It forces you to be creative and actively participate in the digests and builds bridges with the author. Ergodic literature smashes the mold, inviting you to actively co-create stories. This interactive art form bends narratives like your imagination, weaving unique experiences that leave you buzzing long after the last page. Remember, there is no single narrative in the digest of ergodic literature. The multiple layers and narratives are kept intact. Let's delve deeper. From Italo Calvino's If on a Winter Nights a Traveler, Tushiga's interactive webcomic, meanwhile, and the determining choices of the video game, the Stanley Parable, ergodic literature takes shape in various and diverse forms. It is not always a book. Remember, it encompasses technology and all that is interactive. Each click, choice, and twist rewrites the narrative, making you the architect of your own literary journey. From the diverse applications, here are just a few hand-picked ones. One. Hypertext fiction, choose your own adventure books, interactive installations, and so on. I'm pretty sure that you understand the concept of ergodic literature. Let's quickly wrap it up. The differences in the narratives. The traditional narratives are easy to go linear, passive, single, fixed, and predictable narratives. Whereas the ergodic narrative is dynamic, multi-layered, variable, unconventional, unpredictable, and most importantly, interactive. It is handsome, but not troublesome. I hope you found this lesson insightful. To support your further study, please refer to the listed credits and references. 
and ready to dive into the ergodic worlds, grab your curiosity, embrace the challenge and rediscover the magic. Until next time, happy exploring, it's Candy signing off. Bye-bye.